Sammy Lee, born Samuel Lee, 1958 to 21 July 2012, was an expert on fertility and in vitro fertilization. He was a hospital scientific consultant and was the chief scientist at the Wellington IVF program. His book Counseling in Male Infertility was published in 1996. He contributed to major newspaper articles and appeared on several current affairs television programs. He was the inspiration for Anthony Ling, the character in the novel One Life by Rebecca Frain, Simon and Schuster, 2006. ISBN 0-7432-6876-8. After the author herself sought Lee's help for IVF treatment in 2010, willing to die for it, Lee's biography by Francis Lin was published by Murray Print. Lee died suddenly on the 21st of July 2012. Topic. Current research Lee's interests lay in the field of stem cell biology and regenerative medicine. He was a visiting professor at the University College London where he collaborated with various groups in the anatomy department examining the potential of bone marrow-derived mesenchymal stem cells to give rise to neuronal, glial lineages in response to various growth factors and tissue culture manipulations. He also taught ethics of biomedicine at University College London. In addition, he was interested in tissue engineering and teaching ethics in reproduction. He was attached to the Yesen Mirsky Laboratory and was studying remyelination. Lee had ethical committee approval in Brazil for creating artificial gametes from umbilical cord blood derived stem cells. It is hoped these will be used to overcome infertility. Topic biography Lee originally researched his PhD at UCL under the supervision of Professor Ricardo Milady FRS in the school of Sir Bernard Katz. Lee was also a signatory to a memento presented to Sir Bernard Katz on his 80th birthday from bona fide members of the school occasion when the phrase School of Katz was coined. Lee first published research in neuroscience during the 1980s from the biophysics department at UCL, having worked on nerve muscle interaction ranging from examining TTX resistant action potentials in denervated muscle to studying cholinesterase activity in dissociated adult muscle fibers following up on the work first done in the same department by Bill Betts and Bert Sockman. Lee changed his focus to embryos, when he realized that many of the questions framed by his neuroscience research were rooted in the matter of differentiation. The ultimate indifferentiated cell is the fertilized egg. This led Lee to work on gap junctions in early mammalian embryos in the anatomy and embryology department at UCL, where work with Anne Warner FRS and Anne McLaren DBE FRS produced new information on factors affecting communication between cells and their developmental potential. Lee became a clinical embryologist in 1985. When working with the gynecologist Ian Kraft, he directed the IVF laboratory at the Wellington Hospital in London, then one of the largest units in the world. Consultancy work with the UK division of Aries Serrano also involved work with the Bourne Hallam Group, which Patrick Steptoe and Bob Edwards had set up after Louise Brown's birth. From 1995 to 2002, he was based at the Portland Hospital for Women and Children. Lee latterly became based again at UCL. He was interested in tissue engineering and teaching ethics in reproduction. He was working on tissue engineering and stem cells mainly concerned with background research on stem cells and progenitor cells. Dr. Lee also had a keen interest in ethics and expressed this at UCL by running a course titled Ethics of Fertility and Embryo Research. His students remarked him to be knowledgeable in the field of ethics and enthusiastic. They had particularly noted that he is clearly a fan of Kant. He had previously served as an international editor of the Brazilian Journal of Assisted Reproduction. He served as a trustee and director of several charities. His curriculum vitae lists numerous scientific publications. He was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society of Health now Royal Society for Public Health and the Royal Society of Medicine, both in 1987. Lee's team at the Wellington pioneered the first UK practice of gamete intra-fallopian transfer gift, the gift of life, a technique invented by Ricardo Ash in the USA. 
The team was the second to carry out GIFT and then proceeded to post the largest series in the world in 1986. Lee also helped perform some of the first egg donations in the UK. When directing the Wellington Hospital IVF Laboratory, Lee pioneered a simple, inexpensive, efficient form of mechanical assisted hatching in the UK. He produced the world's first intracytoplasmic sperm injection ICSI with NASBA virus assay, virus-free baby to an HIV discordant couple. Lee had many media appearances having been on many TV shows as well as writing a number of newspapers articles. He wrote several books of his own, such as Counseling in Male Infertility, and was also a contributor, consultant in such books, The Miraculous World of the Unborn Baby Quadrillion, Godelming, Surrey 1998. ISBN 1-85833-966-9, Natural Fertility Hamlin 2002. ISBN 0-600-60396-2 and Inconceivable Conceptions. Lee was no stranger to controversy. In addition to his work in IVF, he had differences of opinion with the HFEA, most notably over the issue of human cloning. He states that if it may be done safely and effectively, and be morally justifiable. Lee also wrote an article in the Sunday Times the 10th of November 2002 in the aftermath of a number of high-profile embryo transfer mix-ups in several human IVF clinics. Professor Sammy Lee arranged a conference co-sponsored by the Progress Educational Trust entitled 21st Century Motherhood at the University College London UCL, 18 September 2009. Speakers included Peter Brinsden, Consultant Medical Director at Bourne Hall Clinic, Professor Lord Robert Winston and Professor Cher Height. Topic education and experience Lee was educated at Mill Hill School and received a B.Sc. in Physiology in 1979 from Chelsea College, later merged into King's College London. He received a Ph.D. in Biophysics from University College London under the supervision of Professor Ricardo Milady, in a group associated with Sir Bernard Katz. He later received a diploma in counselling from London Hospital Medical College in 1991, and in 2004 a PGCE at the University of Greenwich. Lee held the following appointments, Research Associate in Biophysics 1982-1984, and Anatomy and Embryology 1984-1985 University College London Laboratory Director, IVF Unit at the Humana Hospital Wellington in London 1985-1986 Consultant Clinical Embryologist, UK Division of Aries Serrano Human Recombinant Pharmaceutical Company Scientific Director of the Colchester Fertility Service 1992 to 2001 consultant scientist and director of intracytoplasmic sperm injection ICSI at the Portland Hospital for Women and Children 1995 to 2003 acting scientific director for the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital 1999-2000 Honorary Senior Research Fellow in Reproductive Medicine at the Homerton Hospital 2000 to 2005 Honorary Lecturer in the Anatomy and Developmental Biology Department University College London 2003 present Visiting Professor in Biomedical Science at the ABC Medical School in Sao Paulo Brazil 2006 present